Oops. 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 Sorry. <laughs> like hot lava. <laughs> <laughs> it's is, the rice, is the rice cooked? Almost there. Hey everyone, Aaron once again. Welcome to the season finale of The Office Chef. Now, I used to be an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a full-time food content writer for chefluie.com. So for today's episode, I'm battling someone again. Now, you might have seen him in our Food Finders episodes and we have none other than... ta Gary! Hello! Yeah, I see he even has the Kuei's kitchen apron. My wife, once again, she went to Thailand and felt it necessary to uh, buy this apron for me because I like to barbecue. I did used to work in the kitchen. My brother is an executive chef in Vancouver, Canada. Um, okay. He actually owns his own restaurant now called The Breakfast Table. So if you're in Vancouver, shout out to my brother, George. So for today's episode, we'll be cooking risotto or known as arborio rice. So we'll see whether an office chef or a home chef can cook a version that our colleagues will like better. So today I'll be cooking a bacon and onion risotto. So my total bill of my ingredients is $21.50 and it can serve up to about four packs. All right, and I am making a fungi risotto. The overall price of everything here is somewhere around $20, definitely not more than $25. That's for you. Yeah, thank you. I love bacon. So basically, I'll be grilling chopped onion, bacon, arborio rice. So adding some salt and pepper to it, chopped thyme, and some bay leaf. Then I'll just saute it further. Then I will let the flavors infuse. Then once that's done, I will pour in the chicken stock slowly, bit by bit, one liter at a time. So we're, we're doing a slightly fancier stock because Aaron <laughs> was able to buy a carcass and he, you know, he adds a bit more of that 150 from NTUC, so I just bought it. Correct. Saute the risotto until it's almost dry and then repeat the process. Then on the side, I'll be preparing a caramelized onion of some sorts. Yeah, I'll just be grilling the onion with butter and slowly sweating it until there's some significant colour to it. And then also I'll be grilling some bacon and cutting them up into pieces. So the final step is to combine the risotto with the bacon and additional butter and the onion. And also I'll be shredding some cheese, chopped parsley. So after I'm done assembling everything, my dish is complete. So before we actually get started cooking, I've already kind of prepped the chicken. Uh, now I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil and regular oil. So we're just gonna fry this till it's nice and brown. And then we'll put this skin side up onto a tray and then bake it. Inside here, you can see there's a little bit of thyme. So it's just gonna infuse on the inside. So I mean right now you can see like, I put the chicken down, skin side down. I haven't touched it mainly because I want it to brown. And I'm really just browning outside. I'm not trying to cook the inside or anything. I'm just trying to get some color. Just gonna transfer this over here. All right, into the oven. Good luck, see you in a bit. I'm gonna start cooking all the mushrooms in it as well uh, and trying to brown all the mushrooms there. From there, I'll probably take most of the mushrooms out and then I'll work on actually cooking the risotto rice. The way you cook the risotto rice is first you want to saute your onions till they're translucent or what they call is sweated onions. Uh, and then you add your rice, pan fry the rice a little bit until it turns a bit chalky and then you'll slowly take chicken stock uh, and pour it into the rice and slowly uh, agitate the rice uh, and to release a lot of the starch. So like in, I would already have my mushroom then I just add it in here and then I just finish it. It's very quick. So this is probably about where I want to then take maybe about that much. Finish with a little bit of butter. That just makes things nicer. Final touches, grano padano. What feels just good. Just spamming it. Yeah, just what feels good. Just a little bit, just to give it some color. From there, I'll then put everything back together uh, and then we'll do some plating. All right, final touches. That's it. So for the final tasting session of season one, we have with us Seth and Ansel to try our risotto. So fun fact, um, Ansel shared with me this morning that risotto was the first dish that you, he learned how to make. So Ansel, yeah. what do you look out for in a good risotto? The rice needs to be rising. What does that even mean? What rising? Don't know what I mean. A lot of the uh, Singapore style or adapted risottos cook it till it's too mushy, la, right? And like a porridge consistency. Technically, isn't correct. There should be some bite to the rice still. I eat the chicken one first. 
Wow, the chicken taste very strong. The chicken is very tender but got very strong chicken taste but then you can taste the thyme inside. The thyme come later. Mm. And the mushroom very tuakao. The mushrooms are very generous. You see all the ingredients are very generous right? Like, yeah. this feels like there's, there's more ingredients than actual ras. But it's very fragrant. X! X! Can I try the thing about that? Red bacon Oh wow. This sounds are quite different. Huh? This one got layer. First you taste the bacon, then you taste the smokiness. Then you taste the fragrance of the rice, and then suddenly, boom! The onion. The onion. onion. The onion, the onion. And the sweetness, uh, right? The comes, sweetness comes yeah. at the end. It's very heavy, mm. but at the same time, it's very light. Whoa. I like mushroom, but this one is a bit too much. Too much. It's, like it's like mushroom! mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the taste of this better. Yeah, the proportions are just a bit off. I want more rice. But I do have to say, there was a lot less mushrooms at the beginning. Just put it all. Sure. But then I have so much extra. That so I just like, it that was like, I'm gonna throw this, so I just throw it in. Okay, la, but <laughs> both risottos perform well. I want him to try the non chickeny chicken. I bought two types of chicken. One was oh. this fancy one, some like probiotic. Is this a pre probiotic? This one? is the, the fancy chicken. Okay. And then they have the yeah. NTUC chicken. Where's the commoner oh, chicken? This. Mm. Very generic chicken taste. Not as chickeny. Ah, it's chickeny. They were really yeah, chickeny. Yeah. Mm. It's gourmet. Chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. 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 It's chicken. nice. I think more cheese would be would be good in this one. Yeah. But the cheese is already so strong though. Could be but more savory though, and the cheese oh, will add a bit of salt. Oh, so I would say this, then this, then this. I picked this uh, just purely because the <laughs> proportion was off. <laughs> I just felt like I was eating chicken and mushroom with a dash of rice. <laughs> Damn! Hey, but fine. shout out to the skin. Uh. The like the, the saltiness what? come from <laughs> under the skin, not what? on top of the skin. The skin? I think it's time for a break. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? I finally oh. won after it like cool, right? four challenges. Well, well I'm, I'm glad, glad to make dreams happen there, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it for season one of The Office Chef. So for the next season, we'll be doing things a bit differently. So stay tuned for that. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in next season. Bye!